SNES Drunk. Welcome back again to uh, SNES Drunk Plays Secret of Mana. Uh, I did take a break to um, level up my Earth Slide significantly. Stayed at the hotel for a bit. Got my magic back up, and I'm exactly at the same point from where I left off the last episode. So we should uh, be coming up on a boss fight soonish. Let's demonstrate this. Uh, I think I already did that, actually. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Just for fun. But, um... Yeah, the next boss is pretty weird. It's, uh... It's a w you fight a wall. A wall face. In fact, I think that's its official name, is Wall Face. So, there you go. I think it should be coming up soon. I don't think there's much left to this, uh... Again, like I said, you see in a lot of let's plays of this game and a lot of walkthroughs, games that'll they'll just encourage you to just sprint past all of this. Especially the these guys, these like tomato hovering things. I don't know what the hell those things are. Don't waste your magic on those. But like the zombies and that kind of stuff, go ahead and fight those. Who you know? What do you, what do you got to lose? Oh yeah, here we go. Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Anybody? Hello? Jeez. Yes, that's right. I have to go and talk to pretty much everybody. Anyway, no, we'll, we won't do that this time, though. I'll spare you. Ho, ho, ho! Is that like a Japanese thing or something? Like, I hear that a lot and see that a lot in video games, you see it a lot in manga. Ho ho ho. Or at least the translations. Maybe it's a translation thing, I don't know. Dialogue! Well, you better be tough if you're going to have hair like that. Has he got the Prince Valiant haircut? I mean, jeez, look at that. Anyway, we fall into the pit of despair. And yes, as I stated earlier, we fight a wall. And uh, there we go. It opens up its eyes. And all we do is, whoops, we spam attack it with earth slide like a motherfucker. And just do it on the middle thing. I do like how its eyes get like, irritating. And literally, this is how this is the flaw of this game is that you just freaking as soon. Well, I didn't do it there. I did it the first time. But as soon as you're able to, like right. No, yeah. See, I'm I'm switching back and forth because I want to get a, a, a sword shot in there. But really, there's like a minimal amount of time. I mean, there's barely. See, look at that. Already done. Goodbye. Easy does it. See, if he, if I had left my uh, Earth Slide at level zero, it would take a lot longer. It would take a lot more magic. I'd use at least one Fairy Walnut. And I don't want to waste your time. So, uh, whatever. That's fine. Way to go. Away I went. And we got an, a bow for the uh, a bow for the orb. And an orb for the bow. <laughs> Triumphant music. Take that, Thanatos. This is not your theme, this is my theme. Well, why didn't you just do that in the first place? Wahaha. Very nicely placed commas there. Hey, there's actually people walking around and stuff. The haze is still here. Hey, it's Gemma. Are you going to hang out today? Aren't you supposed to know that? Isn't that why you left to go find that out? Some journalist you are. God, there he goes again, leaving. Oh, he's teleporting us out of here. That's nice of the game. I like when games do that. Like, no, you don't have to backtrack all the way back if you don't have to. Oh, <sighs> anyway.
people are actually going to talk in Pandora now. And hey, who knows? Maybe their armor shop is open now. Well, you're welcome. Well, you're welcome there, little lady. Let's start with this random house here. Is that good or bad? <laughs> yeah, the other kid said that. Get out of the way. How you doing, Flanders? Well, you did a nice job protecting your family when you were frozen into a zombie. Nice going, buddy. <coughs> yeah, these people can talk, but they don't have a lot to say. So, hey, let's check out... Uh, yeah, we, that's, that's been established. Thank you. What'll it be? Okay, so... Yeah, now we've got Cobra Bracelet, which, as you can see, if you see the three heads in the middle there, that means it's compatible for all three of us. So let's get three of them. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Does she see, the problem here with this system, I've probably already pointed it out, but um, I'm going to do it again. You can't see what you already have equipped. I, have, I honestly have no idea if I, if I don't already have spiky suits or what. But uh, at least games like uh, Lu the Lufia series able to correct that. Let's uh, get a shitload of couple wishes too. Those are always you always want to get stock of those if you if you can. And candy too. Candy's really cheap. And it's not that much of a hassle to uh, to it. Uh, yes, you already have headgear. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, cover bracelet. We can do this. Isn't this riveting viewing? Anyway, like I was talking about um, the last episode. Wait, can he equip this? Son of a bitch. Um, you know, I was talking about the friends thing. It did. It does remind me. You know, I don't like a whole lot of Judd Apatow movies, but um, you know, he did like Super Bad, uh, a bunch of other movies. I can't remember. Knocked Up, I think. The one movie of his that I liked was called I Love You Man with Paul Rudd and uh, I think Jason Segel. And that movie did, um, it was pretty funny, but I liked it because it did a nice job hitting on the head, like how awkward and weird and just uncomfortable it is to try and make friends with other dudes as, as you get older. Like, I, I didn't go to college. I didn't go to a four-year school because, mostly because I would not have been able to handle it at, the, at, my, at my age. I was a basket case back then. But now I understand why people go. It's not for, like, the piece of paper you get at the end that's, that says, oh, you're good at following instruction. Congratulations. You're... Wow, what a bitch. <laughs> you're good at following instructions. Have this piece of paper that says you're, you can do what you're told. No, it's more than that. It's about, like, meeting people and hanging out and making friends and all that kind of nonsense. But, um... And I did, I did go to tech school. I went to a two-year tech school, and I made friends there and stuff like that. But, you know, we fell out of touch, and people get lives, and they get married and move away and have kids and all that shit. But, uh, hey, I moved away, after all. But um, I ain't having no fucking kids, though. Never going to happen. But, um, no, I thought that movie um, summed up how, how difficult and weird it is to... Uh, we already did. Oh, wait, we have to go get Fana still. I forgot. Um, yeah, that's right. She, Dialogue and Fana are still missing. Is there anything else in this town I can do? Anyway, that's the one Judd Apatow movie I like because it, it, it hit on that really well. It's tough for dudes to make friends. And I'm not a social person. I'm really not. It's what um, me and my, uh, my girlfriend make a really good match because um, she's very social. She doesn't like people either. Neither do I. Who does? But... Uh, She's very, like, her mutant power is to be able to talk to anybody and come across as very, very friendly, very upbeat, very positive person, so. And I'm very, I have, like, resting bitch face, like, 24 hours a day. Like, I was one of those kids in high school where it's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing's wrong. I'm just sitting here. I'm just thinking about sandwiches or something. <laughs> what's wrong? I always hated that so much. But, um... And it <laughs> she just trapped this poor woman. I can't talk to her. She. Uh, well, I, I guess some people in this game are like that. Some NPCs in this game are like that. And this guy you can talk to. 
But some people have nothing to say. What is the purpose of that lady? I guess there's nothing in here. I'm just wandering around killing time, essentially. <sighs> um. Anyway. I guess, uh, yeah, we're over ten minutes. Let's call this an episode. And I want to thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day.